So the Nets, the one on a 15-0 run to close out the first half. They ended up with 50 points in the paint. Just walk me through what you saw. Um, yes, uh, I thought that they guarded uh, very well until those last two and a half, three minutes in to, to finish the second quarter. Um, it looked just uh, that uh, our offense and missing our layups and missing open shots, it just uh, bleeded into our defense and we put our guard down and uh, uh, it was, it was, it, it changed the game really. Um, we gotta have much more stamina when things are not going our way, when we're not making shots or free throws uh, tonight as well or open shots, that we gotta continue doing even harder on defensive end. You know, that, 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 that's gonna keep us in games, that's gonna keep us relevant and that, that, like, and then when we make shots, it's gonna be much easier to play and uh, we just looked a little bit discouraged over there and uh, we cannot allow that, we cannot allow that. We gotta have much more force and much more confidence uh, to close the quarters and to play whole games. The, um, we were talking before the game about the rotation and things like that. It turns out you got some really good bench minutes, uh, certainly in the uh, beginning of the second quarter. Did you think about going extending those bench minutes in the third? I mean, Chris in particular, uh, yeah, you know, we, he had a kind of a short stint in the fourth there. Yeah, you know, you know, the first half he did a really good job. Uh, I thought that uh, his matchup there was good as well, and he did a really good job defensively. Heavy contesting shots, uh, and also he was really good for us running in offense. We were getting deflections, we were running. It was really good there. Um, in the second half, uh, they had a little bit different uh, uh, lineups over there, and uh, we just could could not afford uh, uh, getting some threes that they make over there. So I just wanted to get back to uh, uh, to uh, I think uh, OG came back there during the game. Um, but I thought that uh, Chris did a really good job today, uh, as well as uh, Malakai of the bench giving us some good minutes. Uh, Jalen as well, he got deflections and steals and good good runs there. So we got to continue building and trusting our guys there. And uh, this is what we have, and we got to build those guys. I know you just said that Malachi gave you some good minutes, and he did. But um, how much did it impact when you know Dennis took some time to go on the bench and you know get that knee to knee contact and deal with that? Um, yeah, Dennis, Dennis was playing hard uh, there. It was kind of like coming his uh, time uh, for a sub. He came a little bit earlier there uh, uh, as well. Uh, obviously, any time we can have Dennis on the court, uh, he just really helps us. Uh, but also, he's such an amazing teammate. And uh, talking to, teammate, to all of his uh, teammates, and especially to Malakai, to help him as well to, to organize the second unit, uh, to uh, find uh, ways to score, to find ways to find uh, uh, open people on the court. And I thought, I thought that, that the communication between the two really helped Malakai during the stretch there. But Dennis is OK now? He's OK. He's OK. He'll be fine. He's uh, a tough nut. <laughs> uh, it's been a little bit since Scotty's kind of really had a big game offensively. He and Pascal struggled tonight. Is there, have you seen any pattern with uh, some of his offense the last few games? Yeah, I, I thought the first half uh, Scotty was settling quite a bit, and he was taking some mid-range shots. Uh, we talked about it at the halftime. He played a completely different game in the second half. The, so much more force. Uh, he was uh, living uh, at the rim. I'm constantly telling him, like, nobody can stop it to be at the rim. Like, when, when you put your mind into it, you, you're going to be there. Um, I thought that a couple of times we could get a couple more free throws there, there uh, driving to the rim as well. Uh, we did not, uh, and that's fine. We do not control that part of the game. Um, but uh, um, I saw a couple, couple of things that we were working on with him, like some Euro steps and finishing on the other side and finding the contact. It's a, it's a work in progress, and he's really trying to improve in that. So uh, uh, when he picks, puts all those things together, he's going to be really good. I thought that OG started the game uh, slow as well. Um, but the second half, he, he gave us much more uh, force and start of that uh, uh, start of that uh, third quarter and third quarter we, that, that we won just got, got us back in a game. Uh, um, congratulations to Brooklyn. They played a great game. Uh, they, they, they were able to make shots down the stretch. Uh, we got 15 offensive rebounds. We just did not convert as well as uh, our drives and attacks to the rim. We did not convert today, today those.